Hi, this is Ahmad from Integer Audio. Our channel is focused on audio and music production. Please subscribe if you're interested in this sort of content and don't forget to check our website for in-depth reviews. In this video, you will have a look at Brush Free. It is a noise reduction plugin that is developed by Cliff Grant. It's supposedly able to reduce unwanted noise in audio recordings such as background noise, hum, hiss, and other artifacts. It uses advanced algorithm to analyze and suppress the noise while preserving the desired audio content. You could possibly use this in audio post-production, podcasting, music production, or other areas where noise reduction is necessary. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is I'll be applying brush free to my voice in real time. It's going to help me see how well it's able to treat my surrounding environment. I have a fan running in the background. It's not so close to me, but it's definitely audible. I am talking through FL Studio now. Dry signal, no processing. We'll introduce brush free in a second. So all I have to do is just press this button so it learns and creates the noise profile. And after that, it does everything else. It's very simple and a very nice um, um, like tool. It's, it's simple, I guess. So yeah, this is me talking now. I'm going to be bypassing it. And we will see with and without. So this is me talking. I uh, just took it off. I think the noise is back. I can't actually hear what's going on now. So I'll be just listening to it in a second. And this is with it. Um, you could definitely tell the difference, but um, from my previous experiences with this one, it feels like it's been um, compressing my voice just a little bit more. But keep in mind, this is like just a one button process so far. I haven't done anything else. So if I just smoothen out the reduction a little bit, if I cut just a little bit of the low frequencies, boost the high frequencies, maybe I could keep some of the lows so my voice is not too thin. I also really like to keep the release at like fast enough. So it's like at uh, 10 or 12. Everything just like uh, a little under 20 has been working really nice for me. So just keep it at like, okay, I think 12 is fine. And this is the threshold. And this is the attack. Just gonna keep this at that. And yeah, uh, this button is just gonna help you mix the dry and the wet signals. Just gonna give it a hundred, and this is the makeup gain. If you just want to add any um, gain, if 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 this process, the compression and everything is just um, kill the gain or anything, but maybe just add just a little bit. So this is with and without brush free. What do you think about it? For the previous two examples, I tried to play my guitar through an amp simulator. I used Amplitube for this instance, but you could try and use any amp simulator of your choice. I wanted to see if it's going to improve my instrumental recordings. So for the first example, as you could hear, I dialed in a clean signal and I then added brush free to my chain to see if it's going to remove the noise. 
It did a fairly good job at that. However, I still feel like the signal lost its clean resonating sound and it was just um, compressed. It means that I'll still have to need to do some EQing to boost certain frequencies to retrieve the shine of the sound. But overall, it, it was usable and it was good enough, in my opinion. And that sort of a thing would be really good if you would want to use this for practice purposes and would like to eliminate any noise. As in for the overdriven or lead sound, it sounded absolutely muffled and way too compressed. The processing was just significant and it changed the sound overall. Even if I tried to do any sort of post-processing, it would still not sound the same and the audio quality was just poor. I wouldn't be able to use that for practice or any recordings of any kind. So this is a recording of me just walking down the street. Not much is happening right now. But yeah, it's a little bit too sunny. I think I have to enjoy the hunt for now. No complaints. So this, is, so this is a recording of me just walking down the street. Not much is happening right now. But yeah, it's a little bit too sunny. I think I have to enjoy the hunt for now. No complaints. So this is a recording of me just walking down the street. Not much is happening right now. But yeah, it's a little bit too sunny. I think I have to enjoy the hunt for now. No complaints. So this is a recording of me just walking down the street. Not much is happening right now. But yeah, it's a little bit too sunny. I think I have to enjoy the hunt for now. No complaints. So this is a recording of me just walking down the street. Not much is happening right now. But yeah, it's a little bit too sunny. I think I have to enjoy the hunt for now. No complaints. As you heard, this sample had some low-end noise as well as high-end noises. It was the air and the wind as well as the singing birds. I tried to choose a noisy part in the recording to make brush free profile it and reduce this noise signal. It did reduce the noise but the speech and the audio quality was not spared and it suffered from um, too much processing and it wasn't just as transparent as I would want it to. I also tried to profile different parts of it but it was just no different and it was all the same. So right now I'm in a coffee shop. It's not so many people around me. Maybe just some ambient noises from the, um, not from the machines that are in the, um, in the coffee shop. Not more than that. It's kind of um, too quiet for a coffee shop to be honest, but yeah. So right now I'm in a coffee shop, there's not so many people around me, maybe just some ambient noises from the, um, not from the machines that are in the, um, in the coffee shop, not more than that. It's kind of um, too quiet for a coffee shop to be honest, but yeah. So right now I'm in a coffee shop, there's not so many people around me, maybe just some ambient noises from the, um, not from the machines that are in the um, in the coffee shop, not more than that. It's kind of um, too quiet for a coffee shop to be honest, but yeah. And that brings us to the end of our review. After thorough testing, it's clear that it excels in tackling basic and simple noise reduction tasks. It shines when you need to remove hiss from low quality microphones, minimize background noises like fans or air conditioning, or eliminate some subtle and ambient hums. However, it's important to note that brush free may not be suitable for complex or compound audio samples. When faced with intricate noise profiles, such as overlapping voices or dense environmental sounds, the plugin's effectiveness may be limited. With that being said, it could be a valuable tool for content creators in specific situations. If you have recordings made in already quiet environments but need to clean up minor noise elements, this plugin can certainly come to your aid. It will deliver cleaner and more polished audio. Ultimately, the success of Brush Free will depend on the nature of your recordings and the specific challenges you encounter. By understanding its strengths in simple noise reduction tasks, 
you can leverage Brush Free effectively in your audio production workflow. Thank you for watching this review. We hope you found some valuable insights about this plugin. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more reviews on audio plugins and other exciting technologies. Until next time, thank you.